up, YouTube? It's your girl, Spread Blaze, and I'm back with another video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, I ask you to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment down below. Now, today I'm coming to y'all with a fast video. I just wanted to get a little rant off my chest. And the subject is exes. So, why do we always have that one ex? that you know what I'm saying, you can't get rid of, you can't let them go, for some reason, you just let them talk to you in a kind of way, and then you forgive them, and then you take them back, or you don't take them back, but you just keep entertaining these exes, now me, I have a bad habit of entertaining exes, and that's all good and dandy, but there comes a time in life where you just gotta stop taking they shit, period and excuse my language of some kids watching this but stop taking folks shit man you know what you deserve like it's weird because you always hope for the best and you just be hoping that they turn around and they turn out to be what you want them to be they use you for whatever reason they using you not mentally i mean not money wise using you but they use you because they keep you around because it's convenient to them. Like, at some point, it's convenient to you, too. But you got to let it go, man. And I'm to the point to where I'm going to need to apologize to myself. Because I've been known for letting some people do some old crazy stuff to me. Or talk to me in any kind of way. And I still stick around. So, 2020, you know. It's almost February, so I can't say all 2020, but I'm going to go ahead and say it to you right now. From this day forward, I'm not taking that mess, man. I'm single. I'm ready to mingle, excuse me. So I'm going to stop just going back because it's convenient and it's because it's something that I know. Especially when I know that the people or the that I'm going back to don't mean me no good. Now... That's not saying that the people or the exes in the past, that they don't love you or nothing like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? They could very well love you. So it's not that I'm saying, oh, the person in my past don't love me or the people from my past don't love me because they very well could love you. But they're not up to par to treating me the way I deserve to be treated. So from this day moving forward, I'm going to be treated the way I need be treated you know i deserve more i deserve a family i deserve a future with somebody who gonna love me as much as i love them now don't get it twisted y'all because i don't want to make it seem as if i'm like a good into shoes or i do everything right i have my flaws just like the rest of them and the number one flaw that i have is probably that i don't communicate correctly when my feelings are hurt or if something's bothering me I tend to, you know, be quiet and act as though it never happened. Or not even act as though it never happened. I just don't want to talk about it immediately. And that's my fault. That's one of my flaws. I got a whole bunch of flaws, and we all do, but it's about finding somebody who's going to help you work through your flaws and to change you or even make you feel like changing is worth it. Now, another flaw of mine is I'm very nonchalant. You know, stuff might get on my nerves, stuff might hurt my feelings, but I don't really say nothing. It's just like, is it even worth saying something? Like, I act like don't nothing bother me. But deep down inside, it can be real hurt. So, yeah, I mean, I got plenty of stuff that I can learn from other people or, you know, get better at when it comes to relationships. But I know somebody is going to bring that out of me. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that person exists. I'm sure they're out there somewhere. But for me, it's time to take back my dating life and go on some dates and have some fun and do some out of the ordinary life. Now, it is kind of limited because I have anxiety and it's some stuff that I don't want to do or I won't allow myself to do because I'm scared that I have anxiety attack. But... You know what I'm saying? It's time to switch some stuff up. I'm trying to be married, man. I'm trying to have a whole little family. 
with little babies and stuff walking around. Like, you know what I'm saying? Somebody put a dress up. Pants and Y'all out here treating folks bad. That's definitely y'all that doing stuff for y'all. You know what I'm saying? You need to quit. It's time out for all that. You know what I'm saying? It's time out for taking advantage of people that are good to you and treat you nice. Because it's a lot of people out here that's in relationships, y'all, that ain't getting the treatment that these people that y'all taking advantage of are giving y'all. Now, also, my last point that I want to say is if you tired of somebody, let them go, bruh. Don't waste their time. Because you're blocking them from somebody else who might be good for them and good to them. Stop hanging on the folk. Just let them do their thing. Like, it's not that crucial. There's plenty of people out here that want to be just held on to to have somebody to be holding on to. You know what I'm saying? Don't be that person. You feel me? But that's my little rant for today. Small video had to bring it to y'all because I was thinking about it. So I said, let me hit the YouTube family up and get this off my chest. You know what I'm saying? Again, if you ain't subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment down below. And until the next rant or the next challenge, y'all know it is around Blazeland. We live our life to the fullest and we great and we go be great with everything that we do. And until next time, y'all know what it is. Thank you.